Hey folks, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, we are still in the... Um, what's this place called again? Barons, maybe? Anyway, and we have two more battles to... Actually, three more battles to deal with. And all the assembly, blah blah blah. Okay, so what if we use the medical herbs here? Okay, nice. Very nice. So we might actually... You, we do have a bandage for you. Here you go. And what's this? 20 plus stress. Okay, but at least you guys can eat a little. Some more. Some more. Okay, that's gonna have to be enough for, for now. Well, let's head over here, and there should be a trap along the way. Hopefully I can see it. Pick it up. Wealth yeah. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. A rack of blades, a rack of dull rusted knives. They are covered in fresh blood. So can I use the medical herbs here as well? No? Ah, crap. How about antivenom? No? Okay, let's just touch it. <sighs> At least you resisted. Well, so far this has been quite the learning experience. More ugly people. Great. Just what I wanted. Okay, so let's try to stun these two. Okay. So they have pretty high stun resistance. That's interesting. Everybody got blighted. At least everyone done everyone that they attacked. So you have also have pretty high bleed resistance actually. Well that sucks. So you're basically resistant to everything. Good to know. Okay, so I guess we'll try to Was it this guy or this guy who attacked last? I think these two have uh, attacked so far. Okay, so let's try to kill you. Another one falls. And let's see, you can do six to nine, five to seven. So let's use artillery on these two. Five to ten. Hopefully, you can kill him. No? Okay. Okay, but at least you should be able to kill at least this guy. And deal some serious damage to this guy. Press this advantage. Ah, cool. Give them no quarter. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hmm. That's an interesting trinket. But... Why can't I equip it? Ah, oh, there we go. Actually, maybe it should be better if this guy has it. Ah, well, let him have it. Okay, so... Uh, what to do, what to do. We are not exactly in the best situation here. But I guess we'll start opening by opening this one. I don't know if we need to use the key. Okay. Okay, so let's head back. There are two more battles to go. Hopefully we can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop complaining. You'll be fine. Okay, I don't know if the torch will drop below the uh, marker here. If we move one more step. So you have four life, you have six life. Actually, let's 
you can have one more food. Here you go. It's still fine. It's still fine. And they're surprised. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, I guess we'll start off by trying to bleed everyone. Or maybe we should just try to kill him. There's actually, there's a, actually a chance that he might be able to kill him. Hmm. But if he does, the guy in the back won't be able to do anything. Okay, so for now I guess we'll just try to... Uh, ...stun this guy. Be gone, fiend! Ah, crap. Okay, well at least he can buff up some of our other guys. That's one option. And you can at least try to stun him, I suppose. And... Really, really, really like to try to heal somebody here. Even if it's just one point, not better than nothing. Ah, that's fine. Uh, okay, so it's only this guy who can attack this turn. Five to eight. Okay, let's try to do as much damage as we can. Don't know who goes first, but let's give this guy some more damage. Five to eleven, you won't be able to hit him. I mean, you won't be able to kill him, but okay, let's do it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Nine to thirteen. Okay, let's. Fight. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Ooh, deeds. We need deeds. We need a lot of deeds. Okay, what does this do? Don't know what this does, but okay, let's touch it. And this will be the final battle, so let's use up all the torches. In Radiance, may we find victory. And the food. So you have eight, you have seven, you can have one more. There we go. And let's also use up the dog treats in this room. Yes, normal guys. Shouldn't be any problem. Okay, so let's use this one. How many turns? Three rounds. Okay, that's cool. Two to three damage against everybody. And everybody might start bleeding, or we might actually be able to kill you. Okay, let's go with that. No? Okay. So you have three. If we throw this at you, then you will definitely die next turn. But I think I'm actually gonna do it like this. I'm gonna give this guy some more... Or maybe we should just try to stun him. That's one less enemy to worry about. Hmm. Okay, let's blight him. Oh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, right, so this guy is so big that it affects both of them. I kept forgetting about that. Okay, so I guess we should probably try to stun one of you. Stunning you would be nice, but you have 50% resistance against it. The Occultist hasn't had his turn yet, so I think we'll hit this guy and try to kill him off with the Occultists. Six... Five to eight. Yeah, that's fine. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, so let's begin with marking this guy. Precision and power. And maybe we should try to actually stun you. We can't really do much else here. Okay, cool. And you give this guy some more damage. And move one step forward. And keep hitting the guy. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Yeah, okay, I think we're done down here. There's nothing in this room, right? Okay, we're done. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Well, so far so good. A ray of sunlight. A beacon of golden hope. A pleasant weather has come as welcome change, particularly for those currently enjoying a period of convalescence? Convalescence? Oh, all stress, re stress relief's actions more efficient. That's cool. That's real cool. Okay, everything looks good so far, but you have been blighted. I mean, uh, deceased. Well, not, it's not, actually not that bad. Actually, let's start off by seeing if we can find... Of course, we can't find a healer. Never mind then! <laughs> can we at least get the armor upgrade now? No, we need two more. Of course we do. I would prefer if we can get the... Uh, armor upgrade before we get to the next boss. This is a medium... Yeah, no deeds. No deeds. Okay, never mind then. Okay, so we'll c keep going for what we were doing before. We want to get as many level 2 heroes as possible for now. And are you actually still unavailable? Why? Where are you? You're still here. Why are you still here? Okay. Never mind then. Okay, so for this mission, it would be him, him. I guess you're an option, but you're still too weak. Guess I could bring you along some quests, but I would prefer to bring you along. Actually, this guy hasn't been al along for quite a while, so let's use you. 
Now actually your resolve is higher than this guy's, I think. Yeah, he has nine. And I think we get three resolve from a medium mission. So we'll bring you again. We'll get the Houndmaster again. Guess you can come along as well. And actually, maybe we should just... Ah, oh, never mind. I was hoping we could get rid of the disease, but I think this guy actually has one camping skill that removes diseases. Yeah. He does. That's cool. Okay, so maybe we should go with this setup again. Let me just check if there are any useful trinkets we can use. Uh, stun resist, not that interesting. Not that interesting in here. Actually, this isn't too bad. I don't like lowering the dodge rate on the guy in the front. But it does get more life. And it counteracts the, the his disease for now. So let's use that. And you'll keep using that one. Stun resists. Yeah, well, that's fine. It's fine. But I think I have some more equipment that can be upgraded. No? Yeah, here we go. And did any of the other guys level up? But even if they did, I don't think I can actually do anything for them. I haven't even tried these yet. But I did use these two. Okay, let's embark. Okay, so we're gonna have to use these on the altars, I'm guessing. And it's a medium quest, so let's go with... Another 22. It seemed to be good last time. Let's bring two of these, two of these. Maybe one of these, and... I don't know. That many, perhaps? And some holy water. Don't know if we can use this on anything, but let's bring one along. Okay, so we want to find these altars as soon as possible, so we can get rid of the items from our inventory. They're just taking up space. Can the defiled be consecrated? Scouting. Can the fallen find rest? Awesome. Okay, that's a good start. That's a real good start. No. Use a torch. They are surprised. Awesome. Okay, so what to do, what to do. Can you kill one of those them in one go? You cannot. But you should at least be able to bleed most of these guys. But that doesn't feel that useful. So let's actually start by trying to stun this guy. And use all, all artillery on these two, I think. And 
then... Yeah, let's just try to stun them. Actually, you might actually be able to kill her. You might actually be able to kill him, so let's try that. No? Okay. So those two will be able to attack at least once. Uh, they will at least be able to attack us once before we can kill them, which is unfortunate. But we have minimized the damage as much as possible, which is good. And use artillery on these two. Actually, can you just use... no? Okay, never mind. I mean, you will die on your own, so I guess we can use the Houndmaster on the guy in the back, and then he should die on his own as well. Next time it's his turn. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And you... yeah, you can't... The confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Maybe we can actually stun you. No? Yeah, cool. And keep hitting this guy. A death by inches. Oh, well, I guess we can heal you. For lack of anything else to do. And kill him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Crap, not enough room. But fine, we can at least... No? Crap, you gotta be kidding me. Is there, is there nothing here we can use? Oh, fine, we'll sacrifice some money. And I would really... What if we do it like this? And I want to see what we can use this one on. Okay, so that's that's gonna have to be fine for now. Okay, so I'm ending the episode here, and if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't, and a comment down below. And if you want to see more daily content here from me, then please do subscribe. Now I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.